The rule of nines is about body surface area. How can we approximate the body surface area involved in a particular burn? And using nines we can do that very simply. So this is the front and this is the back. So the, the head, all of the head is 9% is a body surface area. That means the front of the head is going to be 4.5% of body surface area and the back of the head is going to be 4.5% of body surface area. Now the arms, the arms, a whole arm, an entire arm is 9% a body surface area. So again you can see that means we're going to have 4.5% for the front of an arm and 4.5% for the back of an arm, 9% altogether. The legs, again front and back, so a whole leg, an entire leg uh, is 18%. And that means the front of a leg is going to be 9% and the back of a leg is going to be 9%. Half a leg obviously is going to be 4.5%. Now the torso at the front is going to be 18%. The whole torso, 18%. So half a torso is going to be 9%. So the chest is 9%, the abdomen is 9%. And the back uh, includes the buttocks. Again, 18% uh, in total for the, for the back, including the buttocks. So again, the, the thoracic area, 9%. The, the loin area and the buttocks, uh, 9%. Do your sums, add 1% for the groin, and uh, if I'm right, you'll have a hundred percent. So fairly simple, really, the rule of nine, but but quite clever. Now, of course, I didn't work this out for myself. <laughs> this is based uh, on the rule, rule of Wallace, uh, 1951, published in in the Lancet. Because of course, we don't uh, work these things out for ourselves. We only teach and practice because we stand on the shoulders of giants. In this case, uh, Alistair Burns Wallace, appropriately named Burns was his, his middle name. So it's important to understand body surface area. And this applies really quite well if people are over the age of 16 and uh, aren't too obese of the very obese. You need to make some adjustments for the... Uh, alterations in body surface area with obesity. Now it's good for our overall understanding of the body, this, uh, the proportions of it. But it's also important because if someone's got significant burns, maybe 20% or more, they're going to need intravenous fluid replacement. And it's important to know the body surface area of burn which is involved. And you're probably going to work out the volumes involved using the Parkland formula named after the uh, Parkland I think it's the Parkland Memorial Hospital in Texas where this was developed by um, Dr Charles Baxter sometimes called the Baxter model but usually we call it the Parkland the Parkland formula because we're going to need to maintain uh, a good hemodynamic stability with uh, IV fluids after significant burns normally starting with ringer's lactate, what we call Hartman solution. Um, now another way to think about this um, for smaller areas is, let's look at the my hand here. So here, my fingers and palm down there, that is 1% of my body surface area. So we could take the person's hand and any individual's hand, including the fingers there like that, is going to be approximately 1% of body surface area as a another sort of rough and ready reckoner. Now there are more accurate 
formulas you can use, but this is this is a good quick appreciation. So let's just actually I've got it written out here. Let's just look at it. Um, entire arm nine percent, entire head nine percent. So half an arm four point five, front or back of the head four point five, entire entire chest nine percent, entire abdomen. 9% which makes 18% for the front. Uh, the entire back 18%. Uh, an entire leg 18% so the front or back of a leg is going to be a 9% and the groin area 1%. Um, slight, slightly different with children, it depends on the size of the child and again there's specialised paediatric charts for working this out. But basically, children have got bigger heads, so uh, uh, roughly, if we say 18% uh, for the head in a child, that would be 9% for the front and 9% for the back. 18% for the torso. The, the arms in children will count those as 9 each. So 4.5 for the front, 4.5 for the back. Again, the um, the torso in a child. Uh, again, we can count that as 18%. Uh, and in a child, the legs will count as 14% each. Uh, as an approximation. So it's really surprising, really. It's, well, the body never ceases to surprise you, but, you know, just that it's all divisible uh, into nines, and that was identified by Wallace in 1951. Nines, 18s, or 4.5s.